Hello comrades. I found something interesting few weeks ago. A 1911 keychain for a whopping 5 bucks. Well, it looks cheap and rickety. Let's see if I can do little magic on it. Here we go. It's turned to a pinfire colt and can shoot now. For those who don't know, the tiny 2mm pinfire cartridge is almost the only type of ammo that can be purchased for collector's miniature guns. It's called pinfire because of this pin on the side of the cartridge, whose function is the same as primer in normal ammunition. Better yet, it can be bought legally, without any permit, even in gun-unfriendly shitholes like the UK or Australia. Pinfire cartridge can be used blank or loaded with a small 1.8mm bullet. This bullet can reach a speed of around 500 feet per second but despite the relatively high velocity, its kinetic energy is less than 1 joule due to the light projectile. I always feel uncomfortable when I have to reload pinfire cartridges. If you touch the pin roughly, it can explode. Also reloaded pinfire have worse performance than the new ones, but that doesn't really matter. Still a lot of fun. I didn't actually change much on that 1911 keychain. The secret of my pinfire colt is hidden in this special magazine. You could say the magazine alone is the already functional pistol, and everything else around it is just for decoration. A striker, spring and trigger are hidden in the magazine. The striker hit pinfire cartridge's pin and it goes boom. Magazine is folded from sheet metal, not much machining was needed here. Okay, without a rest of the pistol the chamber is open and the cartridge flies back when fired, which is quite unfortunate. Enough said for today, let's shoot. For the special specialists who have complained about this in other videos, I'm not aiming my face here. Okay, that was a bit optimistic. The bullet only managed to pierce one can. Another can has only a dent on it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And see you next time.